Hey, Larry Hockman, no more holding back.com, t3method.com, post Super Bowl Monday. I don't know what else to call it. So, not Super Bowl Sunday, the day after. I am not the biggest sports analogy guy in the world, though I am a huge fan of sports. But, man, oh man, did you see that yesterday? Uh, two things come to mind, and this is not the original intention of this video. I was going to talk about process, and I'm sure we'll get to that. But, Two things come to mind. Number one, go with your strengths. If you got a bulldog running back, let him do his thing. Let him do what he was intended to do when the ball's on the one-yard line. And number two, if you're going to commit, then commit. And I don't remember the name of the defensive guy who made the interception. But he was all in. He was going after that ball, and if he went the wrong way, it would have been an easy touchdown. But magnificent stuff. How many of us are bloated and feeling sluggish and miserable because of everything that we consumed yesterday? I'm not. I feel terrific. And earlier in the day, I had all kinds of good stuff and had a lot of good food because I knew what was in store. And so when the Super Bowl itself was going on, I had a great salad that my daughter made and I had some really good hot tea and I had one of my delicious... 100 calorie protein bars. If you feel gruesome, if you feel gross, if you feel like you gorged yourself and you watched the commercials and you knew everything that was happening, you got sucked into a process. You got sucked into a marketing machine whose outcome was to not only get you eating and spending money, it was to get you enculturated. It was to get you thinking and responding exactly the way somebody wanted you to. And for their own agenda. Now, I don't know about you, but that gets me good in PO. Now, I understand that we need to be on the same page. I understand that we need to pull together, not just as a country, but as an economy, to make stuff happen. We all have to basically want the same stuff so that people are willing to produce it. I get all of that. I also get that you have choices and I also get that entire economies and entire industries have grown up around different desires that people have. If you got sucked into overconsumption, if you got sucked into thinking and feeling and responding to ways that advertisers wanted you to feel. Yeah, it was on purpose. And it was well researched and it was well thought out and it was tested and everything else. Who's responsible for your life? Who's responsible for your well being? It's not the beer companies. It's not the food companies. It's not the car companies. It's clever stuff. But all of it was designed with the idea of getting you to buy into their agenda. You're a human being. You have choices. You can look at what's going on around you. You can look at the direction of your own life and you can decide, I'm going to do something different because their agenda is not my agenda. Let that sit there for a minute while you're digesting everything that you had. Come visit me, no nomoreholdingback.com. Get on the newsletter if you're ready to call your own shots. T3method.com. That's what we do. Larry, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.